Hi, first of all, I want to thank Christine for inviting me to make this video. It's a great uh, pleasure for me to do so. And she wanted me to give you a little bit of a, an overview of what it was like to submit to the show, in my case, the Great American Baking Show, to go through the process of submitting the application and then getting ready for the show, and finally being there in the tent. I can tell you that um, it was an amazing experience. Even if the outcome was not exactly what I hoped for, I would do it again anytime. So um, let me see. The first thing that I wanted to talk to you about is if you have any desire to be in the show, send an application. Because uh, how would you? even be able to dream about it if you don't send the application and uh, I'm sure that if you have the desire to go it means you're pretty good at baking you feel confident in at least one or two different areas of baking in my case I felt reasonably okay with bread and pretty good at macarons but you know that's not the show is a lot more than that. And I still had quite a bit of experience with the laminated dough and cakes, not uh, too big in cake decorating, but uh, still comfortable around this type of baking. So I know that if you dream about it and if you feel that uh, you could be in the show, it means you feel comfortable with several areas of baking. And I can tell you that um, the application, you are going to need plenty of pictures of your bakes. And you have to be ready to tell them why you think you would be good in the show as a contestant. So obviously, you have to be comfortable around cameras and uh, talking, improvising, because <laughs> There's no script, especially when things started to go wrong. You have to be able to show some level of, uh, okay, I'm cool with this. And uh, I think they, they, like to, they like you to give this idea to them that you can handle stress and things going wrong and not completely lose it. Then um, I think going through the process of being ready for the show. I had heard the term baking boot camp, but of course I had no idea the extent of it. And it is extremely hard. Uh, looking back, I've been writing about the shows, the episodes as they air. And uh, when I look back and I realize how many bakes we had to prepare every week. <laughs> I have no idea how any of us did it. And, and you go through it, you know, it's very intense, it's very challenging. You are going to go through incredibly low moments in which you're going to doubt yourself. You're going to feel that, uh, well, why am I doing this? I mean, I just can't do it. And, um, but you, you have so much adrenaline going on because you know that you and um, nine other bakers in the US, you don't know who they are, where they are, but you know they are out there going through the exact same thing you're going through. So th that's a cool feeling. I, I often wonder who are these people and you're only going to meet them in the hotel when you get to, the, to London. And going through the process is going to make you a much, much better baker because you have to work uh, for speed. Every timing in every challenge is very, very tight. So you have not only to master the techniques, but you have to be able to do them in that amount of time. And that takes the stress level much, much higher. But it makes you a better baker too, because you start, okay, how can I speed this process up? How can I uh, make sure that my cheesecake 
is going to be set within that number of hours. And um, I think it's, it's really a boot camp that's going to transform you into a much, much better baker. And I tell you, after being back and um, realizing that now I can bake anything, taking as much time as I want and need, it's wonderful. So uh, it's so much more relaxing. The bottom line is, uh, the process of submitting the application, going through the preparation is very, very hard, much harder than I imagined it to be, but it is worth it and I wouldn't change anything. I know the outcome in my case was not what I expected, but I took so many good things out of it and I made uh, friendships, I made connections with people who are as passionate about baking as me and um, I had the chance to interact with all the people in the forum of Facebook. You guys are wonderful and um, I don't have anything negative to say. On the contrary, I think that uh, if you have that little desire to try for the show, go ahead and I wish you good luck and may your gingerbread sculpture always stand.